Hi guys, my name is Huma Sarva. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new on this channel, then I want to tell you that my name is Huma and on this platform I always talk about different scholarships, different universities, how to apply the scholarship, how to apply the universities, what are the requirements, application deadline and most specifically how to fill the application form to apply for this scholarship, to get into the university, to get this scholarship. So in today's video we're going to talk about a Russian university that is Caltech University. So this video is very beneficial for all the students who wants to apply for master and PhD program. So if you want to apply for master and PhD program then I request you to watch this video till end because in this video I am going to tell you about the financial benefits, required documents, eligibility criteria, the study programs and the full application process to apply for this scholarship. So first talk about this university, it's a Skoltek University and it's a Russian university and it provides the fully funded scholarship to all the international students who are applying for master and PhD program. What are the financial benefits of this scholarship? A full tuition fee waiver, the standard stipend is 4,000 rubles for master students and for the PhD students this can be up to 70,000 rubles. It provides the complete medical insurance to all the students and the variety of academic mobility program from one country to the other country. These are the financial benefits of this scholarship. What are the required documents to apply for this scholarship? Number one is online application. We have to fill the online application. But one important thing and one good news that we don't need to fill the separate application for the scholarship. We have just one form to apply for this scholarship. This form is also for the this form is for the university and for the scholarship. Number second is motivational letter. Number three is your CV and your resume. Proof of proficiency in English, TOEFL, IELTS. But if uh, uh, you have your English proficiency letter, then you can apply for this scholarship. But uh, you have to provide this TOEFL or IELTS after uh, after your application. And when you get into this scholarship, you have to get into this university. Then you have to provide this English proficiency test. Number four is number five is copy of your degrees and transcripts. Okay, the programs, Master of Science programs, Advanced in Digital Engineering Technology, Biotechnology, Computational Science and Engineering, Data Science, uh, Energy System, Mathematical and Theoretical Physics, Material Science, Petroleum Engineering, uh, Phonetics and the Quantum Material and Space and Engineering System. And for the doctoral program, Computational and Data Science and Engineering, Engineering System, Life Science, Mathematics and Mechanics, Material Science and Engineering, Physics, Petroleum and Engineering. What are the deadlines to apply for this scholarship? For MS master students, 10th of July 2023 is the last day to apply for this scholarship. But the students who are applying for PhD, their deadline is 3rd of July. So if you want to get into this university and to get the scholarship, then complete your uh, application form and submit your application form by these dates. So let's jump into the application process. Okay, our first step is to write down Scoltech Scholarship. Scoltech Scholarship, there is admission. Click on this admission. It brought me to this page. Admission, Scoltech accept applicant to Master of Science and PhD program. Start your online application here. Click on here. Okay, now I have to sign up. First name is, okay, my contact number, I say my contact number is, this is my contact number, uh, my email address, Anticipated degree level to Scoltech. If I say that I want to apply for MSc program and in MSc, I want to go for data science, country of citizen, country of citizenship that is Pakistan. I have read and agree to the terms. Click on continue. Okay, skip it. Uh, my last name. Now I have to complete this profile. Educational track. Uh, I want to go for machine learning and artificial and intelligence. Machine learning and artificial. Okay, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Country of citizenship. Photo. We need to attach at least one file. Okay, I have to upload my photo. Select file. 
This is my photo. Close and done. Uh, my gender. Uh, my date of birth. Okay, current city of living. Current. Okay, that is current country of living. This is current city of living. How did you hear about this uh, uh, scholarship, social media and internet? Save, click on save. Educational details. University of Punjab, where did you get your degree? Type of degree earned or expected as I am applying for master degree program. So I must have my bachelor degree. Date of degree awarded or expected. If I said that I got my degree in January, 1st of January 2023, community grade point average, I got 3.7 out of 4. 3.7 out of, I said 4. Diploma. Upload your most recent higher education diploma. So my most recent is my bachelor degree. So let me check my documents. Okay, bachelor degree. This is my bachelor degree. Done and close. Current transcript. Bachelor's transcript. Done and close. Now click on save. Uh, now we have to upload documents. Uh, first is CV. Motivational letter. Motivational letter and CV is very important document to apply for the scholarships. So whenever you apply for the university and apply for the scholarship, please pay full attention on your CV and motivational letter because you know the hiring department and the coordinators they don't know you personally they just know you with a piece of paper they have your cv and motivational letters so they they know you okay this is the person the qualification the professional experience and the leadership skills all the skills he has so you have to mention all and each and every point in the cv okay recommendation okay uh, th this part is important you can request your recommender to post a recommendation letter for you this is the blind request and this one is upload so it's better to click on this upload upload document uh, recommendation make your cv and your motivational letter very comprehensive very clear Use simple language, not the uh, very tough and uh, different type of language in your motivational letter. Always use simple English language uh, in your motivational letter. It should be very precise, comprehensive and very clear. Recommendation letter to upload recommendation. Uh, I have uploaded two document uh, recommendation okay please okay next one is green score if you have any TOEFL score IELTS score if you have any uh, suppose I have done my IELTS and my IELTS score is seven okay research interest area uh, as we are applying for data science I don't have any knowledge about this data science but okay I am writing just for reference Whatever is your research area, interest area, write down prospective supervisor. Okay, indicate your prospective supervisor. You may find a full list of faculty here, mandatory for PhD program applicant. If you are applying for PhD program, then you have to select a professor, a prospective supervisor for your future studies. But if you are a master degree program, then you can skip this step. English language proficiency, native speaker, we are not native speaker. Uh, TOEFL certificate, uh, we don't have TOEFL certificate. IELTS certificate, ye bhi nahi. Then uh, uh, university, English, language of instruction is English. Okay, I said my, it's English. 
as i have already mentioned that i did oils and now i have to upload my document दिस इज माई ऑयल्स डॉक्यूमेंट क्लोज एंड डन यूनिवर्सिटी सर्टिफिकेट स्कैन ओके आई हैव ऑल्सो दिस वन सपोज दिस इज माई इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्रोफेशेंसी आई एम ऑल्सो अपलोडिंग दिस वन अवॉर्ड एंड अदर डॉक्यूमेंट्स इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी गट इफ यू हैव डन एनी रिकोगशन और यू हैव गेट एनी अवार्ड्स इन योर अकेडमिक करियर एनी अवार्ड्स एनी सर्टिफिकेशन और समथिंग एल्स अपलोड यू कैन अपलोड ऑल दोज डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन दिस एरिया एडिशनल डॉक्यूमेंट्स नो क्लिक ऑन सेव I have completed my profile, educational detail and professional detail. You filled out all the mandatory fields. from now on your application can be submitted so my application is completed so now the next step is submit application your application is sent your call talk selection application is being processed you will be in touch via email about next step of the selection process please make sure not to miss our emails at the moment you can make any changes to the data you are provided you can only review it should you have any question left feel free to contact us at this email address okay i uh, here i want to tell you another thing that uh, if you get the chance to get into this university to get uh, for this scholarship then the university will also conduct uh, an online interview and also a uh, online test for you before getting into this scholarship so i am also providing the link of that uh, sample just like if uh, you have to uh, if you have to pass the online application uh, sorry online test then what type of uh, questions they can ask from you so i am also uploading that link into the description box you can go through that link so this is the whole procedure to apply for this university and this is the way to get this scholarship you don't need to fill any other scholarship form to apply for this scholarship so if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel next video tak ke liye take care of yourself allah hafiz